Hi, mathematicians. It's me, Miss Altman, and it's amazing to see you. Before we get started, let's take a moment to grab some supplies that we will need for our time together today. You will need paper, a pencil, a few index cards, or sticky notes. No more than 10. I'm going to go and get mine. Why don't you go ahead and do the same? See you in a little bit. I love that my mathematicians are back to help me solve another problem. Today, I want to build a fence for my dog. Building a fence will stop him from running in my garden or trying to swing on the swing set again. I have a certain area in my backyard that I can use to build the fence. You may be wondering what I mean by the word area. Area is the amount of space in a two-dimensional shape. If you think about my yard, its area can be thought of as the surface covered by all of the blades of grass within the yard. Counting the blades of grass doesn't seem like an efficient way to determine the area. There has to be a better way. Area is often measured in square units. Each square unit is a square with the side length of one unit. We can use square units to find the area of my yard. Actually, I only want to measure the area of one part of my yard for now. Aha! Here we are. I want to place my dog's fence in this grassy area near his house. One way to find the area of a surface is to cover the area with square units. Look at that. We cover the area that we want to measure with square units. Now let's count the square units to measure the area where we will build the fence. Can you help me to use the square units to measure the area? Great! Talk to our friend or trusted adult about your measurements. How many square units is the area? How did you figure it out? When you're ready, whisper it to me. Oh, you've all come up with different ways to find the area. Awesome! Let's talk through a few of them. One way that I heard was to just count the number of square units that we covered the grass with. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Wow, we have 20 square units. Oh, did you notice something? I noticed that the square units that we covered the yard with made a rectangle. That seems connected to a way that I heard someone else counting. I heard someone else say that they noticed that the top row of our rectangular area measured five square units. That helped them to skip count by five to determine the total area. Count with me. Five. 10, 15, 20. 20 square units. What's that? You counted a similar way, but you counted groups of four instead? Oh, I see. The first column of our rectangular area measures four square units. Let's count the columns. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. 20 square units. Great. The rectangular area is five units long and four units wide, or 20 square units of area for our faithful friend. That's one happy dog. Speaking of area, I wonder how I can use square units to measure the area of my garden. Can you help me? Great. Can you use one of our methods from before to determine the area of my garden? Whisper to tell me how you count it. Oh, that's an awesome strategy. You covered the garden with unit squares. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's right, my garden has an area measurement of nine square units. Oh, 
Some of you are saying that my garden is shaped like a square. I agree. Can we count the unit squares another way? Yes, we can. We can count by the measurement of the square's side lengths. Count with me. Three, six, nine. The garden has an area measurement of nine square units. Can you help me measure one more area in my yard? Awesome. What is the area of my sling set and how can we figure it out? That's right, we can count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The sling set is ten square units. What's that? Oh, you noticed that when we were partitioning or breaking apart the area into unit squares, that it looked like a rectangle or an array. That helps us count another way. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Or five, ten. Ten square units. That's a great strategy and a great observation about arrays that we may explore further at a later time. Would you like to practice finding area using index cards or sticky notes? Great, look for an item next to you. It can be a book, the remote control, your Chromebook, or something else of your choice. When choosing your item, remember you only have a few index cards or sticky notes, so the item you selected shouldn't be larger than your 10 index cards or sticky notes. I'm going to give you a few seconds to select your item. see most of my friends chose a book. Before we measure our book, what is the estimated area of your book? How many square units do you think your book will be? Now let's actually measure the area or the amount of space the book or item you selected takes up. Use index cards or stickies, whichever you pick. Remember, you have to use the same unit of measurement, either the index cards or the stickies, but not both together. This helps us to make sure that the square units are equal in size. Also, when you measure, place your sticky notes or index cards edge to edge until the entire item is covered. Okay, ready? Let's measure. I will do mine on the screen so we can all see the measurement. I will give you a few seconds to do yours. Did you have a chance to finish? Great, now count the number of stickies or index cards used. How many square units is your book or item? My book or item is 12 square units. What's that? You notice when you are measuring your book that your index cards or stickies cover too little or too much of the area of the book? In that case, we may need to use parts of our stickies or index cards to get the precise area, but that's another lesson. For now, think, did your estimation come close to the amount of whole square units that you covered your book or item with? Did you enjoy this activity? Oh, mathematician, that makes me so happy that you enjoyed this activity. After this lesson, maybe you can grab some more stickies or index cards and find the area of another item of your choice. Or ask a trusted adult to download the extension page for additional activities. So let's review mathematicians. Area is the amount of space in a two-dimensional shape. Area is measured in square units. We can measure area by partitioning a shape into squares and counting the square units. We can also count by groups of unit squares or the side lengths of rectangular or square shaped areas. Thanks for helping me find an amazing area to build a fence for my dog and finding the area of something in our home or school. 
Join me next time to learn more math strategies. Bye, mathematicians!